The population of endangered black rhinos in Kenya continues to decrease as one more rhino that was among eight others died after translocation to Savo East National Park under unclear circumstances. This is the greatest loss yet in the translocation of rhinos compared to the last loss in the year 2005 where eight out of 149 rhinos died. According to investigations that were conducted by Kenya Wildlife Service teams, the death of the rhinos was caused by salt poisoning as a result of taking water of high salinity on their arrival in the new environment. But the tourism CS says he will introduce a team of external investigators to look into the matter, leaving out KWS after the death of one more rhino. And the team that is going to lead the investigation will be the head will be a senior officer from the CID office, the Criminal Investigation uh, Office. Then we will attach somebody from my office. There will be the University of Nairobi, the VET department. There will be the VET department also at the Ministry of Agriculture, who, won, who Dr. Wilson Courier was accompanying us this morning to take some uh, reports but we will wait for him also to get comprehensive reports from both the postmortem and the government chemist. Balala added that any operations to translocate rhinos have been curbed and that investigations by the external investigators will look further than the salinity of water being the main cause of the rhino's death. The, the biggest investigation will come either is it true from the salt water poisoning or is it true from the feed of the Luzanne uh, or it is through the vets and the medication. Uh, that will do. But the possibility is also there is the heat stroke uh, that is very hot in Savo. That can be another issue. 18 rhino horns were found in Voi, but it is not yet established how and why they were there. However, Balala said that his team tracked the horns using transmitters and chips that had been implanted in the rhinos while they were still alive. He also issued a directive to the Kenya Wildlife Services to take the horns to Nairobi for viewing by interested parties. Victor Garuya NTV. Look, look, look.